Welcome to System Shock 2. In this update, we're back on athletics. But this time, we are behind the door that prevented us from going any further last time. We're now gonna tackle the crew sectors of athletic. This is Xerxes. Remember, replicator restrictions are in place for the good of all of us. All unauthorized database interactions will be dealt with to the utmost degree of the law. So there seems to be a pretty heavy robot presence into this area. Let's change things a little. Okay, is that it? Okay, I think there's nothing anymore. But you can definitely see how assault robots can be a huge threat because even though their projectiles are very slow, they still happen to shoot pretty often. So you probably can see where this update will be going. This will be another one of these updates where we go into a million of rooms and where we loot every single one of them. Tell your team they may not be able to play. We were down in the basketball court when the damn power went out. Again. Irony is we were ahead for the first time in weeks. Well, we won't be the lapdogs of the Von Braun anymore. Default! 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 The best words of the English language. But yeah, this will be another update where I loot a whole lot of containers and... While I like doing this in the actual game itself because the prospect of having a whole lot of new loot is always interesting, but they don't always make the most interesting updates. So this elevator here is our next destination, but yeah, we cannot go here because Xerxes is blocking the access from us. Shodan wasn't kidding when she said that we needed to take control of the ship away from Xerxes in order for her to open doors for us. Ah, come on Pyrofield, why must you be so loud? I wanna listen to an audio log, but you're preventing me from doing so. But yeah, even in athletics, there's a lot of doors that lead inside the crew quarter. In fact, this is the fastest crew quarters that we've seen so far. Ah, at last. The shunt has been online for two hours. Go tell Cortez in the crew section to come out and turn on that transmitter. If this message doesn't reach you soon, they may be able to interfere with the transmission from the bridge. Uh-oh. So that means that if the transmission doesn't go through, well, we won't be able to warn her, but by doing so, will we still be able to interfere with Xerxes because that's what Shodan want us to set the transmitter for? Also, you better get used to this. In this portion of the ship, for some reason, the eggs are overly sensitive and will explode way before you can get close to them. And that's bad news whenever swarms are involved, because that means that there's absolutely no way to prevent them from going right at you and sting you to death. And by the way, every single portion of the ship has its own entryway into the crew quarter section. Okay, a lift out of order. You know I have to press that switch. Yeah, I'm one of those persons that whenever you put a huge sign that says don't touch, the first thing that will ever happen will be me pressing this switch and trouble happening. So in the meantime, I hope you enjoy the picture of a still door. Yeah, that poor protocol droid was making all of this noise for absolutely no one. I'm glad to put an end to your service. You did well. It's still kind of interesting that no matter where you go, you can get a glimpse on the kind of life that the people led onto the ship just by seeing their belongings that is spilled all over the floor. Yeah, this one drank himself to death. You performed well, insect. I've transmitted some cy cybernetic modules. Choose your upgrades wisely. 
Yeah, when I was talking about swarms that there's no way for you to prevent, that's what I'm talking about. Just by entering this door makes it so that the eggs will immediately spawn and there's nothing you can do about it. So guess I'll go look elsewhere in the meantime while I'm waiting for the swarms to die. At least I can be sure now that this guy will not sneak up to me. Yeah, the eggs just have a sixth sense. The moment they can sense you're somewhere nearby, they just hatch. Oh my god, will I finally be able to do something in this room? At this point, this game doesn't need a hazard suit, it just needs a freaking beekeeper clothing or something. Well, at least the bees had the ability to just make real sure that I knew that they died. Thank you for the kind warning. Alright, another one of these are terminal. The last one was a bust. And this one is a success. Here we go, we have all of the pieces of the code that we need in order to finally send off the transmission. And with the keycard from Athletics, Maybe I'll finally be able to do something after all. Tough luck, egg. You shouldn't have been where I was going to swing because you still died in the end. Here is Rosenberg's room, the one where you have to enter 11111 has a code. So apparently there was a new weapon and yeah, it's right here, but first of all, let's take a look at the other stuff that we have around here. This is a suit of heavy armor, which protects you against 40% of the damage, but you need 6 points of strength in order to be able to wear it. So this weapon is a mix of human and alien parts. Okay, maybe that was not Rosenberg's room because, well, we saw his corpse some time ago and he definitely didn't die this way. But in the meantime, I'll talk about one of the issues that I had with the research skill in this game. As in, it's probably one of the least balanced skills of the entire game because it's either all or nothing. Because with one point of research, you will be able to investigate every single enemy organ in the game and be able to get everything's weakness so that you will deal them more damage. But in order to be able to pretty much research any other kind of organ in this game, then you either need 3, 4, 5 or 6 points of research. In fact, in order to be able to research the new weapon that we've collected, we need 3 points of research, which is still easier to research than the crystal shard, which needed 4 points. But yeah, it doesn't change that the new weapon, however, requires 4 points of exotic weapons to use, so it's no less easier to equip. Essentially, the moral of the story is, unless that you pretty much want to equip exotic weapons and other weird items that we'll find in the game, such as the worm implants and so far, you probably will agree that they were not the most useful skills out there and they're certainly not something that you absolutely need in order to finish the game, but one point of research is just enough in order for you to prevail through this game. And on impossible difficulty, you will probably even consider... Uh, wait, where are you coming from? That was a room that I'm pretty sure I went through previously. Or did I? I really am not sure, but they were waiting for me. So, on impossible difficulty, you'll probably consider not even having any points in research. Instead, just use the lab assistant implant in order to do your obligatory research, and then keep it around if you want to research some more GANs, or if you want to do anything else because by doing so, you will still save very valuable cyber modules. All 17 of them. Yeah, 
this spaceship really is not going through any happy times. And I think that will be it for the crew quarters, because now I'm back to where I started. Instead of me thinking that I was back, but instead I just stumbled on some drunken idiots. Because for some reason, these hybrids often happen to carry some booze around. But sometime you can get some ammo. This guy was starting to be a little too accurate for my taste. And right here you can see my amazing sense of direction. I can never figure out how to leave this room because all of the sides of the wall and everything just looks the same. So we are now ready to go to the athletics portion of the ship. But before we do so, we might as well do some shopping and finally get ourselves some well-deserved upgrades because I've been sitting on a lot of Psy modules. Now I can go all the way up to tier 5. We're gonna skip tier 4 for the time being because I want these abilities first. The ability that I just picked up makes it so that I am able to take any non-robotic character and that means anything except huge robots and make them fight other enemies. <laughs> You've served me well, transmitting cybernetic modules. Congratulations on finally being able to get fit. Here, have some more modules. So, might as well stay around into the neighborhood in order to get another Psy ability. This one is called Soma Transference, and this one allows you to suck elf away from an enemy and add it to yours. So essentially, you deal damage to enemies, and that makes it so that you gain it. And the fun thing about this ability is that it's its scan, which means that as long as you can hit its target while it's in front of you and everything, then it will work instantly, as opposed to some other abilities in the Psy tree that are quite problematic to use properly. We'll get a demo of it pretty soon, because Neural Reconstruction is one of those abilities. And so we face our first rumble. These guys are pipe hybrids, but on steroids. Yeah, these guys have the most self out of any enemy in the entire game. And finally, their attacks are pretty fast, and they hit really hard. I mean, contrary to the Pipe Pi Bridge, which dealt 10 damage whenever they hit you, these guys hit for 20, so you don't want to fuck with them. Make sure that you kill them whenever you have the chance. At least they are pretty stupid, because they cannot seem to be able to run and attack at the same time, so take that to your advantage. If you're lucky enough, you might get them to run forever toward you without them attacking you at all, but be careful whenever you just lure them around like that, because if you end backing up into a corner, then you're dead. You're just gonna die in something like, probably not even two seconds, because that's how hard they hit. So, the athletic sector definitely has seen better days. I mean, the basketball court is covered with worms, the pool is not functional, and finally there are bodies stuck inside it. It definitely seems as if the lifeguards have not been doing their job. Here, catch! My guy definitely has the worst throwing arm in the world. No wonder this guy drowned if every single person in the future throws like this. So yeah, remember about the battery we found at the beginning of the tech? Well, here it is, finally being put into use. And by the way, you don't even need to use it. You're just doing this in order to have light in the pool area as well as on the basketball court. But it's not required that you do any of this. Also, I really like how come they're trying to remind you that this is a basketball court. Let's put basketballs on the wall. Oh, a cyborg assassin. Might as well go and take care of it. Oh god, there are two of them. So yeah, I think the moment has come to showcase what our new abilities are about. Here we go, this cyborg assassin is fighting for me, but... Uh, oh god, he's doing a very poor job at it, I better step in. 
but it's always a joy to see enemies fight each other in this game. But be careful, because the AI will usually still perceive you as the bigger threat, so don't go willy-nally all over the place just watching all enemies kill each other and think that nothing will happen to you. And we have the final heavy weapon of the game. This is the fusion cannon. And I think from all of the weapons in the game, this is probably the one that has the worst trap of them all, but I'll talk about it a little bit more later. In the meantime, we have a golf game, and we have a transmitter to set up. So, here are the digits that we got. So, there's only two possibilities for the password. Your skill surprises me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. 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 This is Xerxes. Primary data loop compromised. Primary data loop compromised. The, transmi the transmission has been tampered with. No matter. We will destroy my creations right here. Stand by. Warning. Data systems compromised. I have weakened Xerxes. I am accessing the primary data loop. I am merging my entity with the ship. My glory is expanding, filling the arteries of this vessel. I am in control. I am... No. It is hopeless. The cancer has spread throughout the, throughout the Von Braun. They fill every every available crack and crevice. They overwhelm. There is no option. I have I have activated the primary elevator shaft. Take it to deck six. I will tell you my wishes when you arrive. So we can finally go to that elevator from earlier, but. Before we do so, remember how come we have a basketball ever since the beginning of the game? <laughs> and now, let's have the message again, but with text. So the monkeys finally want a peace treaty? Well, over my dead body it is! But yeah, in order for this message to happen, you must throw the basketball- Oh my god, why am I so bad at avoiding worms? But yeah, you must throw the basketball through the hoop, and it's definitely harder than it looks. The many is definitely expecting us, so we better make sure to create a diversion. Now fight for my entertainment, good people. Yeah, like I said, the AI still perceives you as the bigger threat. It doesn't matter that one of its former allies has turned berserk and is slaughtering the hell out of him, well, you're still the bigger threat. And yeah, whenever you harm any enemies that you've hypnotized like this, they will come back under normal control. Essentially, this ability makes it so that they will attack all non-human targets. Tip. You are the only human on this ship. So, now that we're done with the welcoming committee that the many have sent us because we got this transmission running, even though they managed to stop it, well, it's still time for us to actually pour points into abilities. I'll have to increase my maintenance ability because, well, you'll see why later. I really don't want to spoil it right now, and besides, we're getting to that really soon. So, now that we're done with this deck, 
Our next order of affair will be to research the weapon that we found in the crew quarter, so let's take a side trip to the chemical storeroom on this deck. And while we're at it, I might as well go and finish the research on that rumbler organ that I found. And finally, it's time for you all to see the best game that there is onto the game pig. Golf! And yet, yeah, unlike most of the other games, this one is really fun because, for the most part, it works really well with the mouse, so you're free to do whatever you want, and you're free to enjoy those graphics that wouldn't even make a Commodore 64 blush. Anyone remember Leaderboard Golf? This old game that there was on the Commodore 64, and I'm pretty sure there also was a PC version of it. I mean, it probably wasn't called like this, but the graphics were exactly the same. It used PC speaker sounds, because back when I played it on the PC, I didn't have a sound card, so all of the speech was digitized right from the speaker. And this was a garbled mess, but it was a glorious mess no matter what. Alright, hush your research, because I have a hole to finish. Ah, oh, I almost got a birdie. Oh well, time... Time for par! Ah, oh, how did I miss that? That was so embarrassing. Oh, a boogie. Yeah, I definitely did. So, we've got our damage boost against the rumblers. And you're also told that they're vulnerable to incendiary devices, but... It's not really the case, because it still only deals two times more damage. In fact, the true weakness of this guy is anti-personal bullets. If you use the assault rifle with set bullets, even without any upgrade, you will kill a rumbler with only five shots. Which means it probably won't even last two seconds against you. But as a Psy agent, my main way of dealing with them will remain obviously adrenaline overproduction. If they're lucky, they probably will survive a hit before they die. Okay, so now I need technetium. Where is technetium where you need to do something other than drinking it? Because it doesn't seem as if there's any around here. Yeah, the storage room manifests are there for a reason, you know, because whenever you encounter situations like this, you need to figure out either if your eyes are playing tricks, or where you'll be able to find the chemicals that you need. And yeah, right now, I fail to understand how the controls of this thing work, so... We're gonna have to backtrack to another deck, but the question is... On which deck do I have to go? There is no technetium on either deck 5 or 4? Okay, so deck 3 finally is our ticket, so let's book it all the way there. Sorry for going all the way back to action that abruptly, but the thing is, I pretty much decided to take the longest road that I could in order to get to the chemical storeroom, so I definitely had to do some fighting, but at least I'm now at the point where I need my technetium to do any kind of progress. be a testament to how, even though it can be pretty useful, the laser pistol still probably is the weakest weapon of the entire game. But hey, it can be useful considering that you pretty much get limitless ammo with it. Hey, it's definitely been a while since we've been here, and hurry for finding technetium right away. Oh boy, that's gonna be another one of those long researches, so hey, might as well go and play some more golf. It really is a shame that you don't get this game right off the bat, because it certainly is the most fun one of the bunch. Even though it's still more limited than all of those other golf games that you found back in the time. But hey, at least it's playable! So yeah, what you're seeing right now is my highlights of me playing golf on the Game Pig. Yeah, we definitely have reached this one point in the LP. The one where we actually have to spend time playing golf while we're in <laughs> while we're into the alien apocalypse or whatever it is, but who cares about the aliens? I got a bird die! Woo! Woo! Okay, sorry, but I kinda got carried away for a second because this game is just that great. Ah. Can't believe I actually took a penalty stroke, so alright. 
It's now time for us to sink all of our chips. We're gonna be able to get that ball inside of that... F okay, we're definitely not going because my swing was way too strong. But hey, here you can see this game is really easy to grasp and it's pretty easy of access. All the making of a great game. Holy shit, I actually managed to get the ball from the outside of the roof inside the hole right off the bat. Too bad that it was a bogey because otherwise it would have been the highlight of the day. Who cares about all of the aliens that we slaughtered? I just want to share my highlights of me playing golf. And yeah, I know my research is over, but I don't care. I'm just gonna finish this hole and then I'll talk about the new alien weapon that I found. Alright, with that said and done, here we have the Viral Proliferator. We finally get access to a gun in the Exotic Weapon skill. This is essentially just some kind of really weird boomstick that just unleashes a cloud of poison that intoxicates enemies and make it so that they take damage. The poison can either affect annelids or humans or af humans, it's like say hybrids. And it can even hurt cyborgs if you wanted to, but don't use this weapon in that instance. So let's use this weapon for test world. Also, the important thing to notice about this weapon is that the firing mechanism is also very strange because unlike other weapons in this game, you control when the projectile explodes. As long as you hold the fire button, the projectile will go. But the moment that you finally take it off, it will explode. So, unless you read the instructions that come with the weapon, the first time that you will get this weapon, you will meet an enemy, you will hit the fire button, and the projectile will explode in your face and will either kill you or heavily cripple you to the point where you're probably better off dead. This weapon also runs with worm clusters, so you need to make it so that you picked up all of those beakers along the way and use them in order to collect worms that are scattered all over the ship. And that's your main form of ammo for this weapon. So we are done with the recreation deck. Coming up next, deck 6, Command.